All right, the users section. Uh, users are basically anybody that's going to interact with your blog that's above a guest. A guest basically can just go into your blog and leave without ever contributing anything. Uh, but users are going to have much more than that. Um, you're going to have users at multiple different levels. Most of them are going to be at a subscriber level, which basically they, they can read and then comment as well. So um, basically this is the users overview where you can edit users and different actions such as that. Um, you kind of probably already get a feel of as to what this section, how it's pretty much laid out because it's laid out very similar to pages and posts and all those other things. So you pretty much will get a quick grasp of exactly what this is. In order to add a new user, if you don't have users that can currently register themselves, which is a feature in the settings that we'll go over later, um, basically you can add them manually. So you can go under here under the users in the navigation, go to add new, and you can fill out all their uh, information. So your username, their first and last, all this general stuff that you want to put in here. Um, you also want to send the user the password by email. You can do that if you want. You can have that option in there. Um, and down here is probably the most important part of it, and that's the role. Um, whenever you're adding a user, you want to be able to set the role to whatever they are going to be. Um, there is five different roles available. Uh, subscriber, administrator, editor, author, and contributor. Um, and depending on what you add depends on what they're going to be able to do. Um, a subscriber and a contributor is only going to be able to do very, very limited things. A subscriber can only comment and read. Uh, a contributor is only going to be able to edit current posts and delete uh, unpublished posts and very, very basic things. Basically, he's going to be able to help maintain some of the content but can't add any of his own. The author will be able to do all of that of contributor and subscriber, but also be able to publish posts, uh, delete posts, and all those other things, basically, and also be able to upload media, such as uh, photos, videos, files, things like that. Um, and that's what an author can do. An editor can do almost everything that an administrator can that just basically pertains to content. Uh, they're going to be able to moderate comments. They're going to be able to approve uh, posts and pages and things like that that the authors have uh, put up. Uh, they're going to be able to do anything basically whenever it comes to content. So if it has something to do with content, then the editor is going to be able to do it. The administrator is going to basically be able to do everything that's in the site. That is the user that you are when you first uh, installed your blog. You're going to be able to do everything content related plus all back-end stuff such as um, being able to uh, plugins and themes and other such maintenance type things that are within the site is going to be as of an editor, I'm sorry, of an administrator's role. So actually WordPress has a roles and capabilities list within its codex which is basically like its gigantic instruction manual. Um, and you can find that under roles and capabilities if you search the WordPress codex and it actually has a table for you to look at exactly what each of the users can do and a lot of people don't really know exactly what each user can do so this actual table is very very useful to have so and you can get that actually at the link at the bottom of the screen so and that is pretty much uh, what you do to add a new user Another thing you can do is you can edit your own current profile and that's basically very straightforward. You can do certain things such as adjust the back end styles of it, uh, a couple of little quirky features uh, with the editors, um, your name and your contact info and your bio and your biographical info. And some themes will actually show this bio here. So this is something that you may want to be able that you may want to uh, add onto your uh, actual profile. Um, and also you can do your password change right there. And if you click profile, everything will be updated. And that pretty much does it for users. There's a couple little settings that we'll go over later for individual user settings. And, uh, and that pretty much does it. So we'll go on to the next section.